still gotta find that one more plastic. What is this? Ah, that's a nice ball. There we go. So, do we... Oh, wow. That's a lot of rubber. Okay, let's make some tape. We're gonna need it anyway. Resources, thick electrical tape. That's better. Yeah, two big things of rubber turns into one tiny little thing of tape. Makes my life a lot easier. Okay, transfer. Unfortunately, food and water take up a lot of space. Uh, let's see. So I'm low on water. Or not water. I'm I'm low on wire. And plastic. We only have, we only have one plastic. That's kind of tragic. Plastic again. I don't know. I'll just kind of range out. It's probably in a container. I'll just peek at a couple of things. Toilet detected. Some of our clients are very sensitive about toilet talk, and therefore we included a dictionary filter which will replace the word feces with the word joy. Depressurization may occur in the vicinity of the toilet pump when the waste tanks are damaged externally. It is highly recommended not to sit on it during such moments. Okay, so we got some shawarma and uh, a Terminator reference. An automatic shuttle temperature control system. Due to the freezing of the sensors, it works at maximum power and is able to melt the cooling gel along with the helmet. Okay, not seeing anything here immediately. Oh, I know where we should go probably after we have more plastic, though. Let's see. Because there's the, there's like the luggage section in the very back. It's kind of hard to reach, though I guess if we got 75 oxygen, maybe it's not so bad. Okay, what is shawarma used for? I know it's used for something in this. I think. I thought. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna dump it on the ground. Oh, gross, it's a rat shawarma. Probably. Okay, yeah, let's give it a shot. Let's just go back. I don't think I'm gonna... Oh, well, radio. Battery, plastic. There we go. Because if I can up my O2 just by a smidge, then we can go all sorts of places. Oh, I got the recipe for the accelerator from the shawarma. That's what it is. Okay, grab that, grab that. Uh, What happened to the refined metal? I, I guess I didn't actually use any. All right. Um, so we need condom and a wire. Oh, okay. That's easier. Are you not married? I am not yet, but very much want. If we survive, we something. I Interrupting condom balloons is what? Inflated, okay, I gotta read some of these. Inflated, smooth, beautiful, reusable, universal cylinder, reinforced with electrical tape. A miraculous engineering idea, performed in warm condom tones. Alright, let's go. Oh, that only gets me 25 oxygen. I guess I'll take it. But yeah, there's like a, there's a piece of the ship back here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. That has a whole bunch of goodies in it. I don't think it's actually anything that I absolutely have to have, but it's nice. Wonder would you ever go back to our mellow? I've been getting the itch, but I don't have anybody immediately to play with. It looks like a mail delivery show. With. Surely he was carrying a lot of useless things, most of which were stolen before loading. Underpants. Okay. I might be able to convince Shell to play with me or something. But I know within the wholesome verse, some of the members really don't like that game because they played it a while back. Seriously, is this it? I guess there's some more containers around here. I'm pretty sure there's more than this. Oh, 
Yeah, that was worth it. That alone was worth it. And it's another source of the condom around here. And Cosmonautics Day. I remember I wrote it for some contest for the... A contest at the funeral agency for Cosmonautics Day. Show everyone that space is cool and persuade as many friends as possible to be buried here. Something like that. Take. Another spot of shawarma, and then we leave. Oh, potentially a place for some wires, too. I am going to suffocate a little. Actually, you know what? Let's actually just use some of these instead. Uh, let's see. But yeah, some of the guys already played our mellow and didn't like it, so that limits me a little. I remember, can I actually get wire off of that? No. Damn. Okay. Well, if there's anything else there, it's outside of my immediate range. Do I do another O2 ca candle? Nah. We're close enough. If I start really dying, I'll pop it. Uh, let's see, there we go. So, plastic, yeah. So we did get some refined metal like I thought. Uh, I guess let's grab all the ice and the honey. Tragically, this is not actually going to solve any of my inventory space issues as it's just going to get turned into the same size food. Oh, that's not water. Whatever. It's fine. I'm going to put this away before I squander anymore. Uh, let's see. Noticing some people in chat trying to remind me of food and water and whatnot. I don't need that. I'll be fine. Trust me. I don't remember if honey is useful for anything else. I mean, it's good food. Eh, I'll be fine. There's tons of ice. Okay. Right. We also have Cosmonautics Day. This place. It's different from the others. Breath Edge. You can't take a splendid picture of your breakfast for Instagram here, based on a true story. If you don't buggle yourself up to bed, you can your sleep can be cut short by something. The toilet looks like a vacuum cleaner. You can't survive in such conditions, somebody. Here you must do sports even if you are big boned. No, it's not hell. This is... Space. <laughs> Wait, but shouldn't it be reflecting the main character? Where are they? Why are we a vampire? We are the vampire! Space, already shown all over the sky. Time for Cosmonautic State, dedicated to the memory of those who keep pushing us to the future. Alright, well, anyway, let's turn that off, because... And let's drop it to the ground, because I don't care. Also, more shawarma, drop that to the ground. Alright, transfer. Now, honestly, food's a bit of a storage concern, so here's what I'm going to do. This might have some clipping issues. There we go. Now we will be well fed. So where do we go next? I forget. Oh, there was something about an accelerator. Shoot. Equipment. Accelerator. Can't be found. 
Uh, let's actually just swing back inside. I've got to take a look. What, sir, uh, do you require? Because I'm pretty sure this just makes me go faster. Shawarma, refined metal, yellowish water. There's probably some other place to get yellowish water. I, I don't think I can collect it normally. I forget, though. How do you get it? Oh, we'll go for the... Is this metal or aluminum here? Is there a way to heal? Yeah, sleeping. Now that's an ice supply. I don't really care for or need more ice. It's not immediately. Uh, nope, looks like it's just ice there. Okay. Metal. Nope. Trying. Metal. Got it. Cool. Okay, what do you got for me? Oh, food and water. I'll take it. New blueprint. Salty package. Hey. You know, grand scheme of things, not big on that naming scheme there. Like, there's just something about Salty Package that just feels extra salacious. Missed it. Shoot. There we go. Eh. I'll just use it. What else we got here? More honey. Dog beer. Oh, exhausted supply of probably plastic. Uh, dog beer or is it dang beer? I should probably look. Nope, dog beer. The cheapest swill, drunk by all space dogs. Nobody knows from what waste this stuff is brewed. Nevertheless, this beer is distinguished by a pleasant, mild taste of tar and the fragrance of fresh porcupine dung. Yeah, we're leaving that there. Fatality. Extendo gamepad. A gamepad from the most popular console. We used to press these buttons for hours until our fingers hurt. Those were some good times for sure. Oh, scan big TV. Uh, wait, hold up. Huh. I don't think I ever found that blueprint that first time around. <laughs> Wonder you don't want some salty package? No. Okay, so yeah, how do you heal? You sleep. We should probably sleep. I've been using my health bar as a bonus oxygen and it's not it's not the greatest. But it does cost hunger and thirst for health, so maybe I shouldn't be doing that. But we got more food than we know what to do with. When I try connect to this point, signal not pass. Very strange place, most likely deadly. You need to find out what's there. <laughs> oh gosh. Reductive snack naming. Now that would be an interesting video. It would be oh I, I should do this. Like get my my friends together or something. I was kinda I kinda wanted to do this with the the weird adjectives. Oh we do have a salty wait no we need salty package. We need yellowish water. Which is none of this. Actually, let's just pick all this up and then go dump it in the kitchen. It doesn't seem to be going anywhere, so that's a good sign that we're fine. But, uh, kind of like a, a podcast or like effectively a one-off video where I get a bunch of people together and we just uh, rattle off dumb things. Uh, gosh, I'm struggling with how to describe this. It'd be kind of like, uh, okay, take, uh, take like potato chips, reduce them. What it, what is the the simplest and most reductive way that you could describe a potato chip? 
without saying potato, spud, even potentially vegetable. And then, uh... And then maybe draw it or something dumb. You make mouth noises. I mean, it's true. What is a podcast other than mouth noises? <laughs> As, I, it's a lot not of a... various goods were transported in the cargo holds of the liner unnamed. The Global Funeral Agency rented only a small part of the ship's space in the framework of the advertising company and has nothing to do with these goods. This is freaky looking. Man, they are actually just giving out oxygen candles like crazy. Maybe I should not feel terrible about just using them up. Uh, let's see. Still looking for yellow water, though. It's probably around one of the bathrooms. Nope. Wow, that's gone. Bye. I don't think that actually was anything. Fried to starch slice. Yeah? Man, I'm really bad at judging how much oxygen I have left. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think at this point we probably have enough stations. So I gotta get two refined metal. We should have we should have enough for that. Tape. And then I think, I think we, oh wait, no, I think we need two tape, don't we? Nope, two refined metal. I always wonder with these games, especially the single player ones, why do we have to have a meter that fills out? I guess so you can cancel it, maybe. I get, that's got to be the only other explanation I can think of. Crap imposed by the developers. Actually, some crap imposed by the developers. Ah, uh, one. Hello! You've completed the entire unique something. The, the EXP max level. Install. Hit the self. Electrical stimulation is complete. Having traced your brain's activity while you were working, your brain was stimulated with small electrical charges to improve your engineering skills. Judging by the result, it didn't work and caused a number of hallucinations. However, it was entertaining. You still can't get past the radiation, but I will mark the coordinates of the rescuers for useless motivation. All right, let us... Let us die! I am dead. <laughs> There's no achievement for killing yourself with a giant metal cock and balls, really? You lie again. You are here. That means death was impossible. Tell truth. Confirm. <laughs> Load. Autosave. Unfortunately, loading takes time. So, apparently that uh, apparently that sent us back like a fair ways back. Ah, oh, that's that sucks. Yeah, this is just after we came back with the cosmonautics day. Well, you know what? I deserve this. So, I'm just going to dump the shawarma and dump the resources. Yeah, before oh gosh, before I even move this around, I thought it auto saved every t single time I came back in the shuttle. I guess not. I should have saved. Oh well, let's just uh, let's remake all of my food. I you know what? I'll cut again while we w wait for all of this to craft. Okay, well I've cleared out the food at the very least. I think we can make this again, and this time we're not going to hit ourselves in the face. Oh right, I need wire. Oh, I don't have any wire. All right, I guess let's just put this way and make it again. Right. I forgot. Uh, let's see. Let's grab that. Balls. Okay. We want to eat sweet package. And then drink water. Damn it. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I just dropped the oxygen candle. I didn't actually use it. Hey. All right, let's get back out here. I honestly do not remember what I had been doing before. It was probably just looting this immediate area. Uh, let's see. 
Anyway, I was talking about how I've switched up my sleep schedule a little bit. I'm sure it, it's, you know, my sleep schedule is nothing compared to some people. But for a while, I've just been living almost completely nocturnally. Uh, or not completely nocturnally, but, you know, I'd wake up at like 2 in the afternoon. And then finally, if you, well, it was like 1 or 2. And then I'd get to streaming. And then after that, uh, after I, uh, after I would stream, then I'd spend the rest of the day just kind of doing whatever. Uh, gaming or watching stuff. It was good, but it always felt like I was kind of on the back foot when it came to uh, work tasks and recording. I've never been able to get around that as much. So I've been trying to wake up earlier so I feel like I have an actual full like work day and just day to spend on whatever instead of scrambling to get videos out right before stream time because that's that's never that comfortable oh we haven't been up there yet we should probably check it out there we go wander just did your taxes and was wondering if you had any recommendations for good auto battlers been watching some of your videos astronarch is probably the most interesting uh I haven't played Dota Auto Chess or, you know, just straight up Auto Chess. Like, both of those are games that I should probably try out at some point just to give an uh, unbiased opinion on. Gosh, I have a lot of food. But Astronarch was fun. It was really fun. So I'd probably start there. Also, indie development is supposed to... Well, like, I, I will always champion an indie dev game uh, instead of, like, TFT, which I... TFT is good, but I found it to be a little repetitive after a while. And so it started to drag on. I'm trying to think of other ones. Unfortunately, the genre is very new. So my assumption is that we're still like two years out from like peak auto battler. All right. Now let's properly install it. Never mind. The electrical stimulation is complete. Having traced your brain's activity while you were working, your brain was stimulated with small electrical charges to improve your engineering skills. Judging by the result, it didn't work and caused a number of hallucinations. However, it was entertaining. You still can't get past the radiation, but I will mark the coordinates of the rescuers for useless motivation. See, the Hearthstone one isn't too bad. There's a Hearthstone auto battler? I missed that. I... Unfortunately, I guess I don't pay a whole lot of attention to the kind of online competitive scene for anything. Uh, it's usually not my thing. And so, like, I, what I'm waiting for is really interesting single-player auto-battlers. What about the Demon Crawl one? Really neat. Cannot wait to, to see it done, but as it stands, it was very buggy. It's called, it's called Battlegrounds and Hearthstone. Super interesting. Huh. I'll have to give it a shot. Match 3, Auto Battler, Roguelike. Yeah. Match Blade, was it? Ah, shoot. I'll have the video on it out in a couple of days. I've totally forgotten the name. That one was good. Very promising, but I want to see it when it's done. It seems kind of basic, but it seems basic in terms of, like, I'm going to get maybe six hours of fun out of it and then never come back, which... Honestly, in retrospect, a lot of various goods were transported in the cargo holds of the liner unnamed. The Global Funeral Agency rented only a small part of the ship's space in the framework of the advertising company and has nothing to do with these goods. As far as things are concerned, if I can get six hours of, like, good fun out of the game and then I stop, that's not actually a bad value proposition. I was kind of side-eyeing, uh, shoot, Bravely Default the other day. Uh, just because I haven't played, like, a, a JRPG for myself in a while. And I was kind of tempted to play it. And I was just reading about how it's like, it's really hard. And you're going to have to grind a lot. I'm like, I don't know if I really want to do that right now. So I started playing Final Fantasy VII instead. With, or seven. Uh, no, I was I was thinking about actually Final Fantasy VII uh, R. It's like a PS Plus game from March, which is wild. 
Uh, but no, I've been playing 14, which is very grindy and time-consuming. But at least I don't really feel like I have to push on towards the end. If I want to quit, I can. Uh, that makes me sound like a bit of an addict, honestly, but there's no escape. We're not finding this yellow water, are we? I guess I always just find with really long JRPGs, there's always that kind of uh, inherent need to truly finish the game. Right, we're going to go up and check this out. I don't think there's anything interesting up here, but I'll a take a model from the advertisement of the Global Funeral Agency. She looks good even without her head, but I wouldn't recommend touching the picture, as it could be regarded as sexual harassment. <laughs> oh. Okay, I swear there's another toilet around. Oh, there it is. Merge and Blade. That's the auto battler. Yeah. That one seemed kind of interesting. Was Kilta good? I did I play Kilta? I Judging by I the played. amount of joy around, this is the debris of the liner's public toilet. This means that there may be large reserves of water from the shower tanks nearby. The main thing is not to confuse them with liquid waste tanks. Dead hamster. Oh boy. Poor fellow, for some reason there's always been a lot of these rodents. Whether they ran away and multiplied or they're especially bred, I don't know. But I think there are still a lot of them. Alright, so there's the yellowish water that we need. Uh, let's see, do I break this? Sure. Seeing as it's just going to end up somewhere else unless I do. It didn't get me nearly as much as I was hoping for, but that's okay. Now we get the accelerator. That's what I need. Did I... Oh, I did play Kilta for about an hour. I didn't really get Kilta. I found Astronarch to be a lot more interesting. Yeah, I honestly totally blanked that game from uh, from my memory. So we don't want Shawarma and Metal. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Kilta doesn't turn out to be fairly good later on, but... Comparatively, it's very early access, and that holds it back kind of bad. Okay, there's the accelerator. Okay, so we need better suit, better helmet, better pizza, some other things. I'm just going to store the yellow wa yellowish water in here. I actually don't even know if we need more. But maybe we will. Eh. Boy, this is filling up. What do we do with any of this? I guess let's grab some of it and turn it into the bigger batteries. Oh, objects, station, oxygen station. So we need an oxygen candle, tape, and aluminum. Oh. Now, is this before or after I got all the... Ah, it's before. So we got to go get the extra aluminum. Stations, composite resources. Oh, needs alkali. Yeah, we most definitely don't have that. Why did I drop that? Where did it end up? There it is. Damn it. Okay. There it is. I keep right-clicking to transfer some for some reason, and it is not helping me. When coming from most people, it sounds like an addict. From you, it sounds more like I don't have to stick with it. Yeah. I I still have sunk a ton of time into it, for better or worse. I have totally blank. Oh, right. Aluminum. That's what I'm here for. Uh, I've, I've still sunk a lot of time into 14 over the past week, just because I think I needed something to zen out with. But I guess I, I did the, the whole, like, get super addicted to an MMO for a while thing uh, a couple of years ago. Wow, that's helpful. More or less just like through most of high school. And so ever since I've always been, I think, a little bit better at tempering my time. That and also I love my job more than I love playing MMOs, which helps a lot too. Okay, so what do we do? do, 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 do? Objects, stations. We have aluminum, so we just need the candle and the electrical tape. Well, we got tons of those. Okay. 
Yeah, we're just going to seed a number of these all over the place. I ideally like to stay away from using them to some small degree. Wow, I forgot how big they are. Yeah, high school is the time for MMOs. It really is. Like, I wish I had done something more productive with my time. But I realized that at as a high schooler, I probably wouldn't have. Okay, so let's put the metal away. Grapes, these are huge. Uh, it's... If this station doesn't this. explode, your engineering skills will be reconsidered. I recommend that you investigate the immediate vicinity in search of radiation protective equipment for flying to the evacuation zone. Okay, so we want to scoot out this way. Oh, the paint thing's over there. No, there it is. Yeah, I should feasibly be able to put this down. Especially with the speed boost. The shuttle was flooded with paint during the crash. Even the service center wouldn't be able to clean it from the inside. It's impossible to repair it. The paint itself also has no value after freezing. Okay. It's probably the owner of the shuttle with paint. He was engaged in illegal pumping during the crash, judging by the traces of paint on his hands, and a huge hose stuck to his face. Okay, we got the smuggler's eye. Rumor has it that smugglers can open any lock with a retina scanner. I have no idea how they do it, but probably using some eyes. I should try it too, since this one fell out. Well, that went poorly for him. Now, oh right, the the actual paint is further in. This is just kind of sort of bonus while we're here. Okay, so I want to just set this right here-ish. Because, yeah, the actual paint is inside in that no-go zone. Alright, onwards. I'll probably have to use the next one. Alright. I have a speed boost, but I was not going forward. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. forgot how slow you are. I know there's a space scooter that you can get slightly later on that really lets you jet around the whole area, but right now, nope. What if I could actually skip a lot of the freezing segment by just going sidelong from here? Maybe? A large accumulation of toxic colorant has been discovered. If you find a container with this substance, you may receive irreversible brain damage and also improve the anti-radiation protection of the spacesuit. Right, I should probably save, just because. I don't remember the last time I saved, but it was not recent. Let's see. I've got a couple of things that we can find in this immediate area. And first of all... Obviously is paint clops. That's not a viable paint clop. Break. Lead plate. Okay. So now we got lead. Okay, that was awkward. I was sitting there clicking on the thing and it just was not taking. I'm not sure why. Well, that's okay. Hello, lead. We want this. It looks like a tank with paint. I'm honestly not sure why. Let's see, can I break these or get into them? No, it doesn't look like it. Honestly, not sure why you have to use a drill to get the paint out. Nor how that even makes any any sense. I'm really 
really not sure how much lead I need, so I'm just gonna grab... Like, six? Six should be enough. Let's scoot around a little bit more. I don't remember if there's anything else that's terribly necessary. Okay. Well, I guess that actually was pretty good. Boop. Well, all right. That that paint just does not matter. I. This is such a lovely visual. It's completely meaningless in the grand scheme of things, but it looks really cool. This just giant canister of paint spilled out and frozen in space. Okay. That's it. I'm hoping I'm, I've got everything that I need. Repaint should be enough. And if not, we can always come back. There's not really a whole lot of reason to return it here once we have everything that we need. But I guess, in the interest of being absolutely sure, five paint should be enough. Five paint and like a giant stack of lead? Nope. Let's just be... Let's be silly with this. Uh, let's see. Wish movement was a little bit closer to Space Engineers. but you understand why it isn't? I... Yeah. The thing is being able to have unlimited momentum in space. Because that's... You know, there's nothing there to slow you down. It makes a lot of sense. Uh from like a realism standpoint but from an actual gameplay standpoint it would kind of suck uh mainly because if i hit anything it would be gone catching up to it would be such an annoying process uh because none of these things around here have gravity uh or sufficient gravity to really attract anything And so, yeah, if I if I make a careless careless mistake and just drop something in space or bump something, it's like, well, that's gone. The same thing with, like, overshooting my objective. And I guess the last thing I would say is uh, if I was able to go super fast by just accelerating a bunch, I could overshoot almost half of the ga game and level design. And that would kind of blow. Alright, that's enough. I think that's more than enough, in fact. But yeah, also, can you imagine how hard it would be to properly control your speed in such a way that you do not uh, fling, like catapult yourself forward and pancake against the side of an asteroid or a ship or anything like that? You must try not to eat. Food can be poisoned, and water, and air. I care. Sure. Okay. I don't think I really have anything particularly useful at this point. So let's finish off the suit. And then probably go look into, uh... Getting to the next chapter. Let's see, yeah, I gotta, I gotta have enough. Okay, equipment. Enhanced spacesuit. Fabric, paint, aluminum. Oh, we need aluminum. I guess I gotta go looking for that. Do I have enough space for this? Nope. It happened again. Okay, you know what? I need a scanner for burdock? That's interesting. Aeroponic planter. It's probably for later. There's something else that I could scan around here too, but I've totally forgotten what it is. Oh, is this? I can heal myself. I just have to remember how, how to. Deposit resources. Lead paint. Oh. It's lead paint. So I need three of these.
Okay. So, oh. Glass. I think I remember where glass is. Let's see. Anything else? Got the back scratcher. I'm pretty sure the back scratcher is completely useless. Yeah, it's great for pulling objects out of narrow holes and picking up things that you don't want to touch. So we got to go find some. We got to go find some glass. I think I know where where that is. Dump the back scratcher here. 